All right, folks, hey, good morning. It's uh, Steve Jennings from Grass Horse Studios here, and um, we're going to work on, continuing to work on modeling the high-tech HS645MG servo, hobby servo, and uh, this is where we're at right now. It's where we left off, and so you can see that we're pretty close to getting to the point to where um, the mirror modifier needs to be applied, but I think we have a few more, I think we have a few more things on top of here that we can take care of. There's a, there's like a, uh, there's a ridge up there at the top, but. There is kind of a ridge, but I'm gonna ignore it, I think. It's, it's kind of complex. Because the ridge around the top, and you can't even see it, the bevel. There's like a little bevel right here at the top that goes around. But it's... It's hard to see. And then also, yeah, these little pieces right here. These little, like, little angle. These little angle pieces here on top need to be modeled. After that, I think it's ready to at least, um, it's ready to at least merge, uh, or at least uh, apply the mirror in one axis, and then we'll go from there. All right. So what I see here is is that this right here is probably a good whip, good spot that if we can make this half the distance of that. That would be a good way to create that. So let's take a little measurement. All right, turn on the calipers. Let's zero them out. It's 1.17 millimeters. We are doing it in millimeters. <clears throat> so. Do not know why it keeps on going into this crazy calculator. 1.17 divided by 2. Point 0.585. All right, so we're select this. Shift S. Cursor selected. Ring select this here. That's cool. And yeah, that all can be. So, <clears throat> so now we'll go S, Y, 0. Zero it out. And then we're going to go G, Y, point. 585. That's clearly too much. That's 10 times too much. GY.0585. All right. There we go there. Um, you can also now loop, cut, and slide this way as well. Zero. And let's find out how tall that is. On how I'm going to measure that. It's just not a good spot for the calipers to get in there. Um, I could measure this whole distance here and then subtract. Okay, so that's 4.28 millimeter. So that's going to turn into four, four two eight. We can select this here. Shift S, cursor selected. Select this. S Z zero. G Z point four two eight. There we go. Cool. All right. So that is the height that 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 angle needs to be at. Let's see here. All right, so, and you can see that it goes all the way out to the edge. So basically all the way out to the edge and there, oh man, there is like a little teeny tiny rise right there at the edge. Let's 
So let's measure it. Three point zero four. All right. So do do do. I'll take this and just X that out of there. And I'll take these. Or that's in the right spot still. I can take these. I can hit E, escape, S, Z, zero, G, Z, point three, oh, four. Cool, and that's that little rise right there. Now, meow, we need to <clears throat> likely, probably the best solution to this is, is just pull some, like, like actually delete these. Okay, ooh, and those back there too. Where are you, there you are. We come pen. X faces, okay, even back there, X faces. All right, so now we can the edge select, select this, select this, F, and there we are. <clears throat> Do we have to be absolutely perfect in how we loop cut this? No, we do not, I don't think. It does need to at least select the right object though. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Could just hide those back faces and that would solve that problem. Okay, there's that one. Derby, okay. Z. Okay, so now we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. Zero. <clears throat> All right. Not perfect, but good enough for me. We could do this. Take this, shift S, cursor selected, take that. E, escape, SX, minus one. This can go to here. Let's go do this. Go. 
So like this here, go GG, and it will slide on that edge. And so it will still make it just It won't make it non-planar. I am halfway tempted to do something about that. I don't like how that kind of does this kind of all over the place, but I'm, I think I'm going to leave it. Say that. Now, let's go back and look at the thing again. Um, so basically, we want to still mirror across this axis, but we want this axis to be applied. So we are going to see here we want to mirror off of this one in the future so this is the one we want applied right now so apply tab out apply tab in all right so we go over here mirror in y okay thing I almost think that maybe even though we just mirrored and applied all that I almost wonder if we should just as a separate part just start making this top part here make all of this top part separate from this bottom part and then deal with the flow the topology combining those two parts together um, I just think it might be a little bit easier to deal with it that way. So. And it doesn't mean that we have to make it a whole new object, but it might be easier. And then just join the objects together.
so we're gonna, I'm gonna on the second layer here that we're on now. Shift S, cursor to center. <clears throat> Just make an object. Let's make a box. Why not? Or a plane. How about that? Tab into that. Select a vertice. Select one. Control I. X. Delete the vertices. A to select all. Shift S to move the selection of the cursor. Cool. So now it's got one point in there at the origin. So now we're going to figure out how to compute. I want The next thing I want to figure out is, is where is that dead center? Right there. So we can measure it from and we can I can tell you right now that it's up 5.66 millimeters 5.66 millimeters uh, for this gear across the top with the teeth um, I suppose we could go through and just build all of this stuff right here at the center and then move the whole thing as we need to, but man, that's gonna be no, I'd rather have I'd rather have a point right here. So let's try and find that spot. <clears throat> First thing is, is we know that it's gonna be a certain height high. So let's let's we know it's going to be five two no, 42.55, millimeters high. So we're gonna go to the, the 3D cursor location. And so we're doing this in millimeters, not we're doing it in centimeters, not millimeters. So that would be 4.2. Four six. There we go. And shift S. Move selection of cursor. So our point is high enough now to where it would be at. Okay. Now let's figure out the rest of this. We now know that <clears throat> with wise I have. 40.22 for the whole servo. I do not know that that is what <clears throat> this um, width is. You can tab into it and select this. And I'm gonna shift S. And yeah, it moves the, we still have the point there. Remember that, so cursor selected. Select E, escape, S, zero. Go to edge, select. And over here we can turn on edge length. And so we have 4.032. And I have 4.022, so it's a tenth of a millimeter off. Okay, we're not not perfect, um, but we're doing as accurate as we possibly can. Okay, so I will mark down though on this one, 40.32. This is um, all right. So now know that. Now yeah, we know that this is five point six seven millimeters.
and diameter of this piece. And so if we measure from, and we can pretty much assume this is dead center up and down this way. It looks, it looks dead center. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Um, so, hmm. Maybe easier to measurement off of this than actually off of this. So let's, and yeah, we could go to the pictures and look, but I want it to be more accurate than what the photos would, would give us. All right, that's 15.95. And that is, and the, the diameter of that is 12.92. Okay, so if you take 12.92, divide it in half and subtract it from 15.95, we have our center point. Tab, go here. Tab into that. A. Hmm. There we are. Okay. All right. So, handy dandy calculator. Twelve point nine two divided by two equals. 6.46, so 15.95 minus 6.4, oh my god, 15.95 minus 6.46, what devil? Fifteen. 0.95 minus 6.46, 9.49. Okay, so now we tab into here, tab out, shift tab to here, and let's say that we're looking at this from there we go, okay, that's good. Tab into here. I'm gonna select this over here, Shift S, cursor selected. Move that there, I'm gonna tab out. Go to the other object, select it, tab in. And so now I can say S, X, zero. And I can go G X point nine four nine. And that is hopefully the uh, center of axis, the nodal point of that pivot. All right. Now, what does our picture say? See, our picture is different. That one's right, or closer. Let's see, I mean, it's, yeah, the, the pictures are there are helpful, but you can't, they're not that accurate that you can just go from, <clears throat> go from what they're saying. Okay, so now we are, this is the top of the point for this right here, okay? So now we're going to, um, it's actually got a, it actually has a, a, um, Oh, a threaded, a threaded hole here on the top of this metal gear. Um, we're gonna go through and we'll add that. Um, 
and then just start building out, building this out from the top, from the inside here, up, out, and down, around. At least until this part, and then we'll figure out how to make this larger part in and around here. Okay? So, here we go. All right, so, if I were to measure how far down we wanna go on that, I'm just gonna make it the, the height of the actual part here. In terms of putting actual threads in there, we're not gonna put threads in there. So this says 3.38, is it zero? It is 3.38. E, escape, G, Z, minus, point, three, three, eight. Okay. <clears throat> what is the size of the hole in there? Let's do our best. 2.09. Okay. E escape. GX point two zero nine. Okay. We know it's going to come back up to this height here. I don't think there's a bevel. Well, there is a little bit of a bevel around there, but that's still fine. We'll pull it up to that height anyway. So here, shift S, cursor selected here. E, escape, um, SZ0, okay. So a loop cut and slide here, GG. Selected, so how Point eight six, so S Z zero, G Z minus point zero eight six. I'm going to say it's a forty five degree angle. E escape. Z, undo that. So select this. G, X, point zero eight six. This whole thing is five point six six millimeters. Shift S, cursor selected. E. Escape S X zero G X point five six six. Okay, here's like this. Here's are selected here. Um, e escape. Z zero. Okay, cool. How many teeth are on that? Oh my goodness. So there's 24 teeth. 
if you're going to look at them as high and low points, which that pretty much looked like they are to my eye. It means we do 48 units in our spin. Look how much huger all that is. I goofed. Did I not divide everything by two? Can't believe I did that. Point two zero nine. Point zero point one zero four five. Write it down. One zero four five. <clears throat> A B G G X minus point zero one zero four five. Okay. I don't need to do the point zero. G X minus point one zero four five. There we go. Cursor selected. So I actually go here, shift S, cursor selected, here to here, S, X, 0.5. See how much different this is? This looks like twice as much as it needs to be, and I don't know why it does. All right. <clears throat> well, we're just gonna go for it. S X point five. That was SZ, sorry, SX.5. Undo that. Go here, Shift S, cursor selected. Uh, SX.5, tab. I don't fully understand why those would be um, half of that amount, but maybe the maybe the caliper went in deeper than I thought it did. Okay, so we select this. Shift S, cursor selected. A A, go to seven. We can now spin. We can, and we're going to do 48 within 360 degrees. A, A, W, 4, turn off the length. And so now Z, we look at that, we have very smooth gear. Um, I'm going to make the process a little bit easier for us. Z, A, B, 
x faces. When I do that, that's vertices I meant. X vertices. A, B, X vertices. And then we're going to apply a mirror modifier for X. Huh. Tab. Z. Oh, that's that's why. Um, tab there, Shift S, cursor selected, tab out of the object. Go to here, and we're gonna apply uh, transform. Move the origin to the 3D cursor. Whoop! There we go. And now there's the other half of that. Great. So now, Z, as we start to go through this and um, Tab into this. Now we can only have to select every other. We don't. We only have to select this one quarter of the whole. Gear. So let me see here. So A A A A. So do that. Control, and we're just going to control select every other. And. Five point five three millimeter. I'm going to measure it vertically. Five point five three and five point six six is what we um were saying it was at. So we have five point six six. Divided by 5.53 by is what? I think it's the opposite of that I need. Yeah, 5.53 divided by 5.66. So we need to scale it down by 0 0.977. 0 0.977. So S.977. Doesn't look right. S point nine seven seven. Does not look right. All right. Back at this again. Five point four four this time. If we just eyeball it, we would say it would be something like. Something like that, based off of the picture. Yeah, based off of the picture, that looks about right. Um, let me go Z. Now we need to select this. These and say SZ zero. Select these here. Shift S control selected. Uh, 
SC0. Alright. Didn't see it. Alright, there we go. So, there's a lot of geometry in that object. I'm not going to run this directly into the topology of the other piece. Um, I'm going to just kind of let this be its own little piece that we can just place in there and and like so there we go um, tab shift s cursor selected cool So shift A, plane, tab into that, select one, um, control I, X, vertices, A, S, zero. There's that, tab out of it, tab over here. Cursor selected. Over to here, let's select that one. Cursor selected, it's a good spot for it to go. Tab out. Tab in. Then SZ zero. Okay, let's find the um, diameter of this smaller circle in here, 10.89, 5 5.445, so, E, escape, G, X, point, five, four, four, five. <clears throat> There's the outer distance. Um, do a loop cut slide here, above, G, G. Let's just move that in here, just a little bit bigger than that horn. Cool. There is a little bit of a ridge there. So let's see what it is. Ridge to the second to the second one down. There's a ridge up there. Point four four. Point four four. So then, E, escape, G, Z, minus point zero four four. There we go. All right, so then now what's the diameter of this outer circle? 12 point, 12 point nine zero. Alright. 
6.45 E escape SX zero G X point zero six four five. That's wrong. G X point six four five. Okay. There's that, cool. Okay, and its height from, let's see its height is, One point eight two. Okay, so its height from this this sp here to down to the bottom here is one point eight two. So I can hit go here, Shift S, cursor selected, select this one back again. E. I can say S Z zero and go G Z minus point one eight two, and that is the height. Okay, cursor selected. My hunch is to do 24, because I think we did eight and eight and eight and eight, so we did 24 before. Um, so my hunch is to do it that, that way. So AA, let's spin. 24. A, A, W, 4 to remove the extra vertices. Oh, that's right. Also, this one, tab into it. We need to mirror this also. So here we go. A, B, select all these. X vertices. Okay. Add modifier, mirror for Y. Okay. Now, did that work? That did. A, control N to rotate normals outside. Looks like the other one needs that also. Tab into here. A, A, control N, tab out. <clears throat> All right. Cool. All right, so now, if I look at this one, this is essentially, it's a smidgen wider even than the side of this part here. So this, there must be a little bit of a taper in the top part of this box that we don't have it we have it just going straight up it must be a little bit of a taper because if on the side of this you can see that it's just like even bulges out a little bit here right at the top of the seam but for the most part it's this rotation around here should follow um, should be the width of the whole object so so let me tab here that also means, oh, that also means there's a whole lot easier of a way to, to determine this origin here. And we'll see, 
we'll, we'll see just how <laughs> how close our uh, <laughs> calculation was. So, so I'm gonna tab into here. I can shift to there, and <clears throat> shift S to curve and to to move that there. I can take E, I'll move this out here, E, Y, out to there. Select this, shift cursor select there, shift S, um, no, don't do that, S, Y, zero, okay. Go back to here again, shift S, cursor selected, and now I can R, X, 90, R, X, 180, come on, rascal. Oh, it's mirrored, duh. Um, no, it's not. R, X, 180, there it goes, all right. So, we are not perfect, because that would be where it would be at. So how do we solve that problem? We can uh, shift S, cursor select there, there. We can find what that X value is in a 3D cursor, which is that, right? Tab out, go to here. And change this number here to this number here, and it should just line up. Same here. Cool. And I may have just messed it all up, but whatever. With any luck, now we are on that spot there. With any luck, our Z90, our Z minus 180, yep, we are in a perfect alignment with that. So cool. That's great. While we're at it, I'm just going to throw a, um, <clears throat> I'm going to throw a vertical right there. So, loop, cut, and slide, zero, then SX, zero, AAW4, cool. And, cool. So now, tap into here. I'll tap out. Tap here. Shift S. Cursor selected. Tap into here. Go E. Escape. S. X. Zero. Tab out. I right, tab back in. So now we know that comes all the way down to well, that comes down to this spot here, which has that weird little bevel thing around there. Alrighty, so E escape SZ zero. That's what we're going to do for the time being. 
Um, this is mirrored in Y, so we only have to handle this part of it here. We're not actually gonna go all the way around 180 degrees. Um, we probably will, and then, and then we, we won't go around a whole 180 degrees. We probably will, and then delete out some uh, geometry to do that, so. Tab out, Shift S, that object, and it moves the 3D cursor to the center, to the origin of that object. Tab back in. We do line mode, line select mode, select those two. We're gonna go above and spin. And we're going to spin 16 units and 180 degrees. No, we're not. We'll spin 20, 12. 12, AW4, control N to recalculate normals outside. <clears throat> okay. So now what I'm looking at here is um, I'm going to find uh, this distance here and get that width and then put that, build that into here on down. So let's get that. Seventeen point seven two millimeters. All right. So that means take this here. E. Where are you at? I hit E, didn't I? E escape. G Y one point seven seven two, but it has to be half of that. Okay, now I'm looking at it here too. This is the top. This this has to be with this edge here, and I had it low. So really, this will be cursor selected, E escape, SZ zero, E escape. Test cursor selected E escape SY zero A A W four. All right, so I have this, 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 this. All right, X faces. So immediately what I'm looking at is that this one right here could be rotated to that spot right there.
So tab out, shift S, cursor selected, which will take it to the origin. Tab back in again, R, Z, and we're gonna rotate that until those two hook up. Z, and now we have a face here to work with. And this here can go here. And then X edges. Loop, cut, and slide. One, two. Okay, that is working. Now on to the next part. Let's see here. So how far down does that go from this edge is probably the next thing to figure out. Thirty-one point thirty-four point one, and that is. Of course, it's a rounded corner on that, but let's just block it in first. So, go here, select this, shift S, cursor selected, and now we're gonna go select all that. E, escape, S, X, zero, and G, X. 3.41. There we go. Now it's blocked in. Okay. That there's a curve right there. How big is that curve? Calculated, I don't know. <laughs> um Let's see if I can just like eyeball it as close as possible. Actually, I think I found it. One point one nine. All right, so we have this here. Loop, cut, and slide here. Shift S, cursor selected. Alt, right click this. S, X, zero. G, X, minus 0.119. And <clears throat> you can probably do that here with this too. So S, Y, zero. GY minus point one one nine. Okay. It's like this and this X faces. I don't mean faces, but meant vertices. X. Ah. Huh. X. Vertices. Select this. Cool. Shift S. Cursor selected. Edge. Edge seven to go from above. Spin. It's going to go eight steps and 90 degrees. That's what we want. All right. And uh, select this to here, to here. Shift S, cursor selected here. Boop, deep boop. E, escape. SZ0, AAW4. Okay. 
All right. Okay, so. Up here, there's this curve, right here. Hard to do it in the mirror. Right here, here, <laughs> right there. Um, that's not, that's gonna be a tough one to calculate where the center of that is. So maybe eyeball it, but. You know what? My hunch is, is that this casing is actually the diameter of that curve. And it's just sticking out a bit. So if we can take, if you can use this as the di diameter, this distance here, and we can poke it out that far that it actually pokes out from this curve. Because why did they build this square out this way? They didn't waste you know, plastic to just do that, to give it extra space in there. They did it because there's a gear underneath this and that they needed a clearance around it, right? <clears throat> so, um, first off, I'm gonna do a loop cut and slide in here. Okay, I'm gonna do a shift S, cursor selected, E, Escape, and then S0. I'm gonna do edge select and select that big long edge. And I'm gonna do an edge length. Point, so if I hit Z, 0.886. All right, so 0.886 this way, but we need to determine, and so this is the radius, right? We need to determine how far it sticks out from here and subtract that from 0.886. All right, two, 2.74. Alrighty, so now we know it needs to go out here 2 point, or 0.274 millimeter, uh, centimeters, 2.74 millimeters out this way. And this distance here has to be 0.886 minus the 0.274. All right, so how are we gonna do it? Okay. We'll figure it out like this way. Select this, shift S, cursor selected. We are going to alt right click that, and we're going to SX0. Okay, so we zeroed that out. We have 8.86 millimeters minus 2.74 millimeters is 6. 0.12, so that means we're gonna go G, X, minus 0.612. This should be the origin, ideally. So, we can do that. We can take this out here, because that's not in the right spot anyway, and we can move this, G, X, 0.274 millimeters, Okay, and uh, this is the origin. Shift S, cursor selected. Seven, we're gonna go to the top. Z to, you know, wire, go to wireframe view. Um, A, B to box select that. And now we're just going to do a spin on it. 
and we're gonna do it in uh, negative 45. I'll try that first. That's pretty darn close. And I'm gonna do a four steps, and we're just gonna rotate this just until it hits that spot there. Hmm. So we're going to get close, let up, shift, now fine tune, go into there. Shift. There we go. Okay, and then we can select this. Shift S, cursor selected A, B, S, X, zero. It is planar. Okay, Z. Let's move this. Move this. Uh, are we going to remove that or not? I think. We, I think we're going to reuse this geometry up here a little bit better. Shift S, cursor selected, and now it's like this, 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 and this, and we'll do S, Y, zero, A, A, W, four. Hmm, that didn't work. S, Y, zero, A, A, W, four, A. Okay. I, I, honestly, I hate that. I think that this is actually going here. So, yes, let's take this plane out. X, face, A, 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 control, N, move normals outside so you can actually see things. This goes to here, control, N, control, M, to last. All right. <clears throat> so I'll select these two edges here and make a face. down here too, X edges. Hmm, so we need one, two, through a loop cut through here. That'd be a triangle if we did it. Interesting. Okay, I had a different idea. So this is the center here. Cursor center, selected. Take this and I'm gonna just faces, take these out. X faces. We will do this here, E, escape, S0, go to 7, select the edge, spin 4, that's great, A, A, W, 4. Okay. Now, the question I have is, were these close enough to join? And they were, wow. That surprises me. So select this one, 
in this one, hit F, and uh, didn't quite work how I expected it to because, well, here, loop, cut, and slide. We'll do that here. Shift S, cursor selected, edge select that, SX0, AAW4, A. All right, cool. There's that. And let's just do it. We're going to do a knife tool here and just cut right across the center here of these. Cool. And uh, this one here to this Alt M, last. Cool. And then let's do the same trick. Hold on a second here, maybe. If I can do a loop cut and slide across that, can I? Come on, rascal. It will not let me do it. That's a drag. Okay. So I'll do this across here. Then I'll do another one out here. Great. And this to this, Alt M, last. This to this, Alt M, last. And this is because of the sets, the, that's the pivot point. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. That does not work. GG. Let's just move these until that's pretty darn straight up and down. Cool. <clears throat> um, Okay. You know, looking at this object now, something just became evident is that we're going to need to go across like that. through here, we need to have a straight line across there. So Z7, I didn't, know, I didn't recognize until I looked back at the model again that there is a extrusion. So let's go back like this. Cursor selected, boop, 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 and S, X, zero. Just to make it perfectly straight. Thinking things through.
we are going to need that edge through there too, I believe. For like the label. There's like this little label that's right here, and that edge is basically a straight edge across there. We could do that primarily with texture. But, um, I can actually shift S, cursor selected, S, zero. That one can go right there. GG. 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 Okay, cool. And boop, 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 boopity boop. SX zero. Okay, so they are all a straight line now. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I mean, this is what you can do. S, take that, seven. So I need one, two, three, four, five, and 90, six and 90. Five or six, I'm not sure. We'll try it first. We'll do five steps in 90. So this to there, this to there, this to there, this to there. Maybe it's just four. This, this to there, this to there, this to there. This to there. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know why I like that, but I kind of do. Especially considering we're going to have a little thing down here too at some point that we need to make. So having this will kind of balance that down there. So we'll do that, and then we're going to K. We'll go through and loop cut those, or just cut them. Um, this to this, I'll M to last. I think that the idea then is, say, get rid of this. All right, so one, two, three, four, F, one, two, three, four, F. And so now, one, two, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make triangles first, and then we can merge them if that makes sense into quads. Just 
just want to visualize where things are kind of going. It's okay. Here to here to here to here. I don't know where that went. Okay, here to here. A A W four A G. Okay, that is that did merge those. <clears throat> It looks like K can go from here to here to here to here. funky I don't know if I like that yet or not. Better save. What I'm getting at is this little thing up there, right? That needs to be added also. And that one looks more like that is directly in the, the origins on the edge, so.
All right, that's close enough. Okay. Rethinking some of how some of this topology flows around here, right? Oops. F. F. Come on, rascal. F. That's nicer. That's a lot nicer. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm going to try something totally different. Break it up a little bit. X faces. And let's actually take these out. X faces. This shift S cursor selected. E escape. S X zero. A A W four. It removed a vertice. Hopefully it was that one right there. Let's actually turn off all the edge lengths. We don't need those right now. Simplify this a little bit. Escape, S, zero, A, A, W, W, four. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. So we're going to do a loop cut and slide over here for one, two, three, four vertices. Cool. F. Here to here, F, here to here, F, here to here, F, here to here, F, alright. Alright. That's better. Okay, now before I'm gonna even fix the plug this hole, let's do the other part over there and see how that may, some of these things may flow up into that, into that curve. So my hunch is that if we measure this, this to this, this curve here is equal to this curve, and then that's, and we have that diameter there. So, I don't know if that made any sense or not, <laughs> but whatever. We're going to go for it. Um, need to turn it on. You turn the, the digital calipers on before you get a measurement. 12.75. So we need these down here. And so we know that from here to here needs to be 12.75. It's one of this top row that we need down here. Um, 
So we're going to take 12.75, 12.75 divided by 2, 6.375. All right. So from here, we need the center point of, and I think this is the center point of this. Let's go through it. We're going to make another loop cut right there. Make the center of the label. So from here, shift S, cursor selected. So SX zero, then GX minus 0.6375. Pretty darn close to that. So now we have that, we can shift S, cursor to select, take these here, vertices, and I think shift D, right? Yep, escape. And then, so they're there, I say escape and move them back to where they were at, S, X, minus one, so there are all the mirrored vertices of what we have going the other way. Hooray. So now, this may cause some chaos here. We'll, we will figure that out. All right, so now I am measuring this little arc here at the top of the label, which is 3.69 millimeter in diameter. All right. So that would be, so half of that, so 3.69 divided by two, so. 1.845 millimeters is what we need to extrude out this way to create that. So here, E, and I don't even remember what that was, 8.45. Oh, thanks. That's just dandy. 3.69 divided by 2 equals 1. Point, so, got it? So, G, escape, G, X, minus 0.1845. That's ridiculous. No, that was correct. Look how close that was to an existing. Hmm. That's curious to me. All right. So now shift S, cursor selected, go here, seven, Z, wireframe, spin. That's pretty much exactly what I was thinking. Make sure it's, it's 90, eight, yep, that's cool. Z, all right. So now, this can go here for sure. Um, I think this can come out. X faces, so that can disappear. Seven, spin, A, A, W, four. A, cool. A, um, control N. Calculate outside. <clears throat> All right.
Shift S, cursor selected. Boop, boop, beepity boop. S, Y, zero. Just kind of filling some things in here. Well, all right, folks, that's just a robocall and I didn't put the phone out of here, so. Call it quits yet on this. Oops. Hey, that's what happens when I push the blender keyframe to a. <clears throat> OBS program. Cursor to selected. Boop, 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 boop. And SY0 here. Pressure selected. Seeing it, seeing me working and <sighs> okay, so
Okay. Hmm. I'm trying not to just run all of these down through here and all of a sudden have this huge mass of geometry down there, especially when there's also all this right here. We don't want to run that all around through that edge. So what do we do? Well, I'm just gonna start putting in, ooh, wow, trippy. Putting in faces and let's just see what it looks like. I don't, I can immediately tell you I don't like how this is looking. I mean, I suppose it wouldn't be the end of the world if one, two, three loop cuts went down through there. So, so one, two, three, zero. Hmm. Well, we don't need it. It might help spread things out a little bit so that's not so tight. 7, Z, spin. I want negative 90. Z, all right. Let's take a peek at that. X faces, cool. F, F, so there's this. X faces. Maybe there's another idea there, too. X faces. <clears throat> it 
Shift S, cursor selected. Here, 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 here. And E, escape, S. Seven, the number pad, Z, okay, cool, Z, whoop, all right, That looks like it goes immediately. Oh, I see what the problem is. So that's there. Shift S, cursor selected. Alt SX0. AW4, nothing. So this. One, two, three. GG. Seven. Really weird sound just happened outside. GG. Oops. Okay, that's doing something. <clears throat> huh. Ideas. That doesn't look good. E, escape, S. E, escape, G, Y, herp. There. Here's this, shift S. Hmm. 
Read to Paul G. Some of this stuff drives me bonkers. When it gets to this point, it's like, how do you get all this stuff to flow, to flow right? I'm gonna see an easy one here. But you think it's easy, then you're like, oh, but yeah, but we didn't actually need to do it if we just did it this one other weird way. This other thing, we wouldn't need to add that much more geometry to it. Solves a few of the problems. Very possible that we just don't even need this edge and we just move it out there. And I built it there for a reason, trying to get it to.
So, I mean, we're running into a few spots and it's just that, it's just that, um, I hate that. <laughs> really hate it. Um, you know, you just start going through and <clears throat> trying to get where the topology needs to be at. And this is not fixed yet. And again, this is where you kind of go back to the old make the triangles and maybe it'll try and see how things are trying to flow. So now I look at that, that makes me think the dip -ba doop here, boop da boop here, boop da boop here. And we have solved a lot of the problems because this can be a quad between the two sides. Question is, well, why don't you just do it early if you're going to do that? Just right after, right after you do it, get rid of that. You do the same thing here. Because this is, this is the curve we need. We don't need this curve. I do like this nice straight clean edge. You know, I don't, I don't do this. That's just corny. Um, And there is this, that is the op possibility there. Do this and this, F. This and this, F. This and this, F. That is pooey looking though, in my opinion. I'd rather run them around the, I'd rather run them off the, 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 bottom of the part then 
So if I were to say this probably should go to here. I can see that. This can go to here. There's some funky shenanigans there. Geometry shenanigans. That's exactly what I said I didn't want to do. Let's just run all of it that way and create all that geometry there. But <clears throat> that's what happens. So. Comments? No comments. So there is some things I'm seeing here that, that don't make any sense. Like honestly, this K should take a straightest route to there. Okay, this should go 
right down to, and it is, it's going straight down there. I'm running kind of out of ideas here, what to do with that. Great big old triangle right there. <clears throat> triangle right there. And the big dumb way to do with it not something that dumb but it is yucky is to do that but maybe that's trying to tell me to do this That is a quad. This is a try, try, try. That is a quad. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the part that I know needs to be done to show why we're why we're even worrying about that corner right there is that we have like this little edge that is like what 0.24 millimeters, so it's a quarter of a millimeter. <laughs> it's a quarter of a millimeter, and um, so. This all needs to come up a quarter of a millimeter. So extrude, escape, G, Z, point zero, two, five. Okay, so that's what we're, that's why we're dealing with that, is that it has just that little bit of rit edge right there. 
And honestly, I don't think this is, I think this is a little bit higher too. I don't think this is all the way back at that base level. So I'm gonna move it up. GZ point zero one two five no GZ point zero one two five all right so kind of split the difference a little bit there <clears throat> I mean you know if you look at all that stuff and you say well what you know it doesn't look bad or whatever well when you tab out of it it doesn't but that stuff just, you know, that stuff irks me. I don't like, I do not like that. Because everything else is pretty, like, pretty good. I mean, this is even passable, right? But this is just, <laughs> And so, it really, and I don't want to run those all the way up through here, like four or five, you know, run those up through here to there. That's maybe the easier thing to do. It's because we have one, two, so we have two lines run up through there. All right, let's just look at it. It's probably the thing that's gonna look nicest. X faces, loop, cut, and slide. Okay. Yeah, I can tell you already it looks better. Yeah, that's the thing to do. And we might have even been able to done a couple of these up through there also. But you know what? I think they're gonna call that call that good there. All right, well, I'm calling that a win for now. And um, we still have more, like more things to happen there with the model. Um, but I think at this point, I think that's a good uh, ending point for today. So anyway, thank you for watching Robot Chores. I know that it was labeled Cartoon Chores. It's just that kind of day, dude. So, um, but anyway, um, thank you for watching. And um, if you like the content, share, like, and subscribe. And um, yeah, until then, toodaloo.